good morning i am dr sinuwasan professor in faculty of marine sciences anomaly university now for the lead program in aligarh muslim university i am going to present about the marine resources if we take the marine resources physical resources and biological resources are two one that is non living resources and living resources salt mineral deposit manganese nodules silica petroleum and natural gas are called as non living resources living resources start from microbes to mammals which mainly constitute the fin fish shell fish and seaweed resources now coming to the non living resources the ocean is the gift of god we can able to get salt daily in the food it is necessary which gives taste for the food it's sodium chloride essential for our body similarly we have one noodles like black potato which is more abundant in goa that is in arabian sea which has a very good tremendous future scope for exploiting these non living resources which gives manganese and also iron you know all, all of you know very well about the petroleum natural gas is also you can able to get under the ocean now coming to the living resources starts from the fish crab seaweed etc you can able to see that the fishes having omega 3 fatty acid it is easily digestible and easy to cook also when you compare to mutton and chicken or other non vegetarian food items so fish is the one of the important food for the human beings throughout the world if you take the pelagic fin fish resources the important one is oil sardine scientific name is sardinella longiceps which is found abundant throughout the year in west and east coast of india and we can able to extract oil apart from the salt and also dry fishes next is mackerel so you know what is the indian bird there is a national bird is means you can see peacock similarly national fish means this mackerel so it is found abundant in west coast and east coast and it is very tasty food and on interesting things it is purely a planktonivorous that is that fish is a purely vegetarian which eats on only diatoms and plankton another interesting fish is flying fish like birds the fish can able to glide even up to 40 to 50 meters length you can see the pectoral fin is elongated as a beautiful birds so this flying fish is um, you can able to get from june july august in the coromandel coast that is from uh, chennai to nagapattinam and this is exported to border security force for the army people they like it very much kerangids of course there are nearly 23 varieties of kerangids which is also very good pelagic fin fish resource tuna tuna i can see lakshadweep and andaman nicobar islands tuna is the fastest swimming fish but it is processed in a different manner tinned tuna moss min all these the by product of the tuna fish now the other interesting thing is demersal fishes the demersal fishes are the race skates you can be able to see in the discovery channel such a beautiful the demersal fishes exploited for for example shark liver oil shark fin where the by products are taking and there are other things molluscan bivalves and gastropod also found in the demersal fishes you can get the pearl which is one of the nine gems like diamond corals the pearls is also um, having from the crassastia madrasensis there is another oyster it is edible oyster this oyster you can able to get pearls so all wonders of the demersal fin resources then coming to the other gastropods the chunk zancus pyram which is used in a holy manner uh, in the, all the temples of india then uh, they coming to the seaweed resources we take chocolate ice cream all the things have the gracilaria in the form of they used to take agar agar which is very essential for microbiology and biotechnology work and uh, this is lesser known uh, seaweeds which you can able to exploit from both coast of our country we are we are also having some interesting resources like sea horses sea cucumber brittle star which is sea cucumber is, is one of the famous in china every new year the happy new year they celebrates with the cake here 
but they celebrate with the sea cucumber uh, which actually have very uh, rich in protein and tasty but here in india sea cucumber is it's not uh, you should not exploit it because it is coming under wild wildlife protection act 1972 only we have to uh, because of the limited resources other uh, interesting uh, in the marine is whales dolphins penguins of course uh, this uh, whale hunting is now prohibited dolphin circus is now practiced in singapore and malaysia and it is uh, you can also call as farmers friend now coming to the last uh, uh, chapter of my lecture is about conservation so the sea is not a dustbin all the pollution is dumped in the ocean so it should not be like that so the government agencies like central marine fisheries research institute zoological survey of india marine products export development authority department of biotechnology department of science and technology ministry of environment and forest and many universities like annamalai university non ngos are all uh, try to um, conserve the ocean in so many ways therefore the marine resources to sum up my lecture to marine resources is very important which com- constitute the pelagic non pelagic fishes and uh, seaweed resources one side the non living resources which i already told you right from the salt and uh, petroleum and uh, some of the product like black potato which i told manganese noodles and also silica which is found uh, in the some of the sand of the beach is used for computer chip and also for the cell phones we have to conserve our ocean we have to see the blue planet which is having pacific atlantic atlantic and indian ocean we have to think of the the ocean always which helps the human being and also all the citizens of the world thank you